So among all this talk to um, that Joe Biden should uh, step down, um, some people, some Democratic politicians and operatives and donors are, following, are throwing in their lot with um, Vice President Kamala Harris. This is from CNN. Democrats start moving to Harris as Biden digs in. <clears throat> That's how certain a widening group, uh, amid the ongoing fallout from Biden, from Joe Biden's debate performance, talk in many Democratic circles has already moved to who Kamala Harris's running mate would be. That's how certain a widening group of party uh, leading party officials, operatives, and donors are that the, pre that the president's slow start to salvage his campaign just won't work, with several close allies skeptical that he is up to the re-election campaign he has pledged to stay in based on CNN's conversation with two dozen Democratic politicians and operatives. Biden always says not to compare him to the almighty, but to the alternative. That's exactly what a growing number of Democrats looking at Harris are doing. <coughs> <coughs> For her part, the vice president and her staff have deliberately ignored most of the calls and texts coming their way, remaining insistently on message about both her support for Biden and her pride in sticking with him. Despite her efforts, Democratic politicians, politics has started to shape around her, as has former President Donald Trump's campaign, which has already begun attacking Harris. Several officials told CNN they have begun chiding donors who complain that they don't think she can win, um, arguing that they need to st uh, stop and get on board with her. Other officials and, ad and advisors said plans are underway to convince Biden to immediately throw his support behind Harris, release his Democratic delegates, and ask them to follow his choice. Foreign presidents and party leaders would then follow suit, they believe, in hopes of avoiding a contentious fight for to uh, lead the Democratic ticket. Um, a Democratic sen senator offered an extended and very colorful metaphor for describing the movement to Harris, likening Biden and his vice president to a star quarterback who needs to be taken off the field and their backup. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, this is kind of insane to watch, to be honest, because the Democrats could have had a primary, right? They could have had a primary. They normally do. They could have had a primary. And then Democratic politicians and donors wouldn't be panicking. Right, but they're panicking because we didn't have a primary. Um, people just assumed Joe Biden would be the nominee, um, even though you know many Democrats want someone else. Um, and now that you know Biden did poor during the debate, now everyone's up in arms. Now everyone's scared um, out of their minds and. Democrats only have themselves to blame, <laughs> to, to be honest with you. I mean, Democrats put themselves in this position. Um, and it's it's very hard for me to be sympathetic to all this panic. Um, I mean, I've been saying for a long time, I think we need a united front behind Joe Biden. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm, I'm kind of, I still think, I, I still think it's a concern that, um, replacing Biden at this late stage um, might not work. Um, but like I said, we could have replaced Biden already. <laughs> we could have had a primary and maybe someone else would have won besides Joe Biden. Um, but they didn't. But they didn't. Um, so Democrats have made their bed <laughs> and now they have to sleep in it. I mean, now they're not going to sleep in it. Now they're panicking, trying to decide... You know, if they need to make a last minute switch. Um, and again, it's skeptical that we should replace Biden despite his poor performance. I think some many, I think many voters would still vote for him regardless, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm willing to be persuaded otherwise. Um, maybe it's time to jump ship. But regardless, this is putting, the Democrats have put themselves in a difficult position. Because if they're already saying, okay, or if many of them are already saying, we don't trust Biden, we're already, <laughs> are, are, there is no united front anymore. I mean, we're, we're, the Democrats are already dividing themselves or being divisive. Um, 
And that could, I worry, um, hurt the Democrats. I mean, with the media focusing on Biden's poor performance, again, with many of these politicians and donors saying we don't support Biden anymore, you know, then there's going to be a whole rush to figure out, well, who do we support? And um, that just, whereas the whole right is just standing behind Trump, right? <laughs> Trump could be doing, you know, have, Trump does, has gaffes all the time. Trump is clearly having cognitive decline. Nobody says anything on the right. They just fall in line and get behind him. Um, and we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> Instead, many people are throwing Joe Biden under the bus. And I don't like Joe Biden. I, I want to be clear about that. I And I said this in my, you know, debate stream, like, I feel like a Joe Biden stan, <laughs> you know, in my, in my constant harping about a united front behind the man. Um, and it's not because I like Joe Biden. It's because I'm not sure we should risk a wild card at this point. Um, then, of course, someone else would say, well, can we really risk Joe Biden? And it's like, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I, I think Biden's already been in the race for so long that I think he can squeak by. Um, maybe that's copium I'm smoking. I don't know. But again, I mean, the Democrats have put us in this position. The Democrats have made it hard on themselves. They're trying to lose. And in many ways, they deserve to lose. I mean, like, that's a nihilist in me. I obviously don't want another Trump presidency. But, like, the Democrats are making it so easy. <laughs> they are trying to lose. And they put themselves in this dang position. Um, so let me know what you think about a potential Harris ticket in the comments. Um Things are going to hell in a handbasket, and the Democrats are predominantly to blame.